uh, the main one being, um, like, during the last 10 days of Ramadan, uh, I wasn't able to, like, secure, like, a spot in my masjid. What, what stuff I could do in the house to uh, take advantage of the the last 10 days and uh, I you mean you were not able night. you were not able to book i'tikaf correct so you were not able to book i'tikaf in the masjid right yes yes okay is there any other masjid or only one islamic center nearby uh not necessarily not in the area no okay the, the two places the two places near me uh they were all they're all booked up so no problem if you heard me answering uh, the sister's question about nasiha and sincerity, that applies here as well. Like you were very keen to observe i'tikaf, but they said, sorry, we're all booked. No, we don't have any vacancy anymore. I can come to the masjid and sit in the masjid before sunset or maybe from asr and not necessarily full i'tikaf. Sit in the masjid, have iftar with the brothers in the masjid, pray Isha, pray Taraweeh, pray Tahajjud, pray Fajr, and go home. Okay? In, in Arabic, they say, ما لا يدرك كله لا يدرك جله. If I fail or if I, won't, I wasn't able to achieve something entirely, then do not drop it entirely. Do not leave it entirely. Do as much as you can out of it. We all go to the masjid, pray. Maghrib, Isha, and Taraweeh, and Tahajjud. Everybody in Ramadan will be in the masjid. But I don't have a designated area to sleep over in the masjid. No problem. So I will stay in the masjid, but without tent. And whenever it's time to sleep, I will just go home. Okay? And whenever in the masjid, keep yourself busy with the recitation of Quran, with the supplication, with the dhikr, with istighfar, uh, and so on. And when you go home, alhamdulillah, the Quran is with me, whether in the masjid or at home. Also, I have an access to still distribute sadaqah and charity as long as I'm not in i'tikaf. 